What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, welcome back to my team, Thank you for tuning to another video. I have a reaction video on Agent Zero Two. Um, it's all the YouTuber. I like some of his. He's a 2K gamer, and the reason why I wanted to react to it, see what he says. He's um, this video is about why he dropped out of college was the best decision he ever made. And you know, I just want to see what this take is on it. We can watch it again, see what his takes, his and take on why he dropped out. You know. That's what he does. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. On the way to 200K. If y'all are new and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Hey, man, second channel shit going on right now. Podcast is doing fantastic. I want to pump it up some more if you haven't checked it out. Yo, bro, everyone's saying, well, I don't usually like podcasts, but this podcast is a banger. Try it out, man. Link in the description. Me and Lo, we got a podcast we do two times a week. All right, this, this is how I'm feeling today. There's too many people online <laughs> bugging out their minds for no goddamn reason. Yo, I genuinely believe there's people on in life, in general, but especially on the internet, that I just disagree with you even if they agree with you because they're bored and they want something to do and they think that disagreeing with you is a conflict that's worth their in time, Facts. just say something that makes a lot of sense. Like, hey, until you figure out what direction you want to take your life, you probably shouldn't subscribe to a hundred thousand dollar loan at a university because it's not worth it. Just facts. Decide what you want to do, and if university is the best way to get there, then do that. Man, wow, how well put, agent. You were the way you said that. Man, I wish someone told me that sooner. And here we got somebody on fucking Twitter telling us, some, actually, not all of us are so privileged. Our parents have to. I'm like, oh. God! You're not and so that's the reason why you had no choice but to subscribe to the $150,000 loan to get your film degree, buddy? Mm hmm. Why are we acting like for a moment that we don't make decisions that direct where our lives go? God damn it. Now, some of these people online, man, you know, how are you a victim 24 7? Yeah, not everyone's right? going to be on the same fucking playing field, but you got to be the victim 24 7 every single time as you are the victim? Holy, it must be exhausting to be around these people. That's why I don't keep them around. Now. Who watches them around me? Bro, if I make a mistake, but you really, it was your fault really though, but I could have done something to solve it if I, if I really knew, then it's on me too. Feel me? I take some responsibility. I've been trying to get better at that. And I keep people around there that do the same thing. Man, how you could be a victim all the time you want to be the victim for some one time you just want to take responsibility. One time. Just take responsibility one time. See how it changes one your life. Time. You're driving. You get in an accident. How can it be the other person's fault all the time? I, I put a challenge out right now. Find any woman and ask them, have you ever been cheated on? The answer is probably going to be yes. yes. And then ask them, have you ever, you ever cheated, cheated on anybody? anybody? And they're going to tell you no. How is it possible that everybody's been cheated on but no one's doing the cheating? But that's besides the <laughs> point. Yo, yo, Agent's been game right now. Anyway, let's get back to it. I had a four year program, sport management major. Loved the program, had a great time, but I was $30,000 in debt. And that's not even as bad as some people out of state. And in the US, it's even worse here. Y'all be in 100,000, 150,000, crazy. Three years into the program, I said I'm out. You feel me? YouTube was blowing up for me and it made no sense for me to stay there. I'll be in a goddamn marketing class sitting like this. And I, I'm thinking to myself, like, I should be a goddamn professor. Yo, I'm telling you this right now, bro. When you graduate with your marketing degree and you get into a role, you, you want to work for this ad agency or whatever, this ad agency is going to be pissed off if you pull out your fucking notebook and you're like, all right, how should I approach this and solve this situation? What did professor say about the four P's of marketing? God damn it. You're never going to need the four P's of marketing. Yo, most of the stuff they teach at school is outdated. The professors are really just doing what they can to sell you their textbook that they wrote so they can make money. And you're paying a high premium for that knowledge. And I, I don't know how to tell anybody this, all right? So just listen. Try your hardest to not be a victim for a fucking day. Learn how to take a shot. Try this one saying the best information can be found online. I learned how to do most things in life online. How do I edit? Do the effects. I was learning how to 3D model online. 3D animation when I was 14 years old. I was learning it online. I wanted to get into film. I loved cameras. How do I do it online? It was free, god damn it! school for 150000 <laughs> Now, if you want to be a doctor, you okay. need to get the proper accreditation. If you want yeah, to be an accountant, yeah. you want to be a CPA, you got to get the proper yeah. this, that, this. So I, cool, go to school. You know what I'm saying? Get in debt, get out, get your job, make your money, get out of debt, period. But you mean to tell me you want to go to school for business? 
<laughs> go to school for business. I dare you to go to school for business, all right? And then work at a goddamn agency and hit me up. I will finesse the fuck out of you. And I never went to school for that. I'll get the greatest deal on planet Earth like Timothy Mosgaard's fucking agent. That's because you don't know what you're doing. You've been in the goddamn textbooks. You don't know how this shit work in real life. I mean, you know how disappointed I was as a human being? You know, because I, I was really, really making money uh, once I dropped out of uni. So I already had the money to pay back all the loans. I just dropped it one time, boom, get the loans out of my face, right? You know how disappointing it was to see 30000 leave my account? Yeah, I, I've never felt pain quite like that, man. Figure. And, and it's one thing, like, if I'm dropping money for a car, I get to appreciate the car. Yeah. The car still has value. At one point, if I want to, I can still sell the car and get the value back. But for school, the... The value is what you've learned. It's in your head. You gotta start asking yourself, like, can I learn this stuff online? Can, is it a better use of my time if I just look for experiences? What I did in university, y'all, real shit. I just volunteered everywhere. Man, I volunteered at wheelchair basketball games as a referee. I volunteered for a whole bunch of uh, junior Canada basketball tournaments as a scorekeeper, as um, the guy who does... Um, Shot clocks, which by the way, I told one of them stories in the podcast. Shot clock work is very, very hard. <laughs> very mm -hmm. challenging stuff. I realized that because every parent in the goddamn vicinity was mad at me that night. Everywhere I went, the Pan Am Games were in Toronto. I volunteered on the parade team. I wanted to see what it was like to manage a fucking huge sporting event. And at no point during that did I think that me sitting in a class and learning what the four P's of marketing was somehow more valuable to my life than the experience I was getting by just trying new things in the world. Yo, I learned that I like videos and film at the age 13, right? what I do? Can I get a DSLR? No, I had the money, okay? I literally went around doing film competitions borrowing equipment from my high school. And I had to like beg the communication teacher, like, please, I need I need this camera. I want to do this 48 hour film competition. Please, please, please. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. Rich, you don't know how to do it though. And eventually I got my money up, little $300, $400. I got myself a little beginner camera. And I just went and I, what I do? I took photos, I went outside, I took photos of things. And I learned and then I came back home and I watched videos and I took more photos when I learned. What, yo bro, right now, where is shit at? For no reason other than the fact that I want to, I want to learn archery. Now, I'm not going to pay nobody tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars. That no, no one's getting money off me learning how to do archery. Because the videos are online for free. I want to do archery too. <gasps> Am I going to be the greatest? No, I don't want to be. I just want to have fun and snipe folks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this, this is a turning point for my life. Let me show you. Hold on. Give me a moment. I was in my third year of uni. I was debating whether or not I should even stay in school, gather more debt, and put YouTube on the side because it was my side hustle. School was taking up a lot of my time. And just to even manage doing YouTube and also doing uni, what I would do is instead of taking five courses each semester, I'd take three courses each semester and catch up in the summer. So I had school all year round, and I did YouTube all year round just so I could manage it. Man, I went, one time I put up to the academic advisor, and I was like, hey, it's my first time seeing her because I never need her advise me on shit, you feel me? I just went on YouTube. YouTube, they advise me. It's crazy how much YouTube has helped my life. Now I'm thinking about it. As a viewer, before even like creating content or whatever, just as a viewer, I went to her and I was like, hey, what would happen if I just left school for a year, for two years? I had this opportunity, what would happen? And she was like, you could just come back. What do you mean to tell me that I could just put this shit on hold? But it was holding me back. And before I left the office, she was like, oh, Dean, oh, I had something to give you. I, I've been trying to find you this whole time because I never went into her office before. And she gave me this right here, fellas. She gave me 2016 and 2017, no, 2015 and 2016 Dean's List Honors. I worked my ass off to get 3.6, 3.7 GPA. What I got in return was a $1,000 scholarship every single year. A thousand. And this garbage piece of paper wow. saying congratulations. I was working my ass off putting YouTube on the side. For $35,000 and debt. They only took $1,000 off that. Getting more in debt because I wanted to get a third piece of paper. I looked at this piece of paper right here. That day I decided I was done. Finished the semester uh, and just got straight to doing YouTube. Got my own crib and just went ham. You know, I called up Waleed. I was like, Waleed, I need help editing. And Waleed was like, I'm down. I'm like, oh shit, because I know Waleed since I was zero years old. So Waleed would be the perfect person. And then I just got to, to just 
obsessively just going hard to the point where like every I'm hard on myself too man I just want to go hard like I just want to do more so now I look at my experiences and I get that etc etc there's a whole bunch of people some people you have no option you have to you know your parents can kick you out of the house you have to do something well they do community college my guy why are we signing up to these division one colleges they're charging you out to ask do a couple years transfer your credits into the school you actually want if that's what you want to do but save some money in the process. Yo, if you're getting a degree for something like film or business, I'm, bro, I've never met a single person in all the orgs, all the businesses that I work with on a regular basis that's ever said something to the, oh man, I'm, I think I'm gonna hire Jack because Jack has a goddamn business degree from Western University. Never heard of it. But you know what I have heard? Oh, Jack? Oh, he worked at this small, small editing company where they worked on videos for content creators on a regular basis. This is what his portfolio looks like because he has work experience. Jack would get the fucking job, man. It's crazy because when I was in school, they would have guest people from the industry come in all the time. And the guest people, every guest person would say, experience, get experience. So I'm sitting here thinking like, why am I paying this much to be yeah. here if all the experts are telling me the thing that they care about isn't even what the fuck I'm doing here? It's the experience. I get real heated about this stuff because for me this is just like, and I understand when people disagree, you're cool to disagree, but let's leave, let's use logic for just a moment, right? Man, damn it, it's because most people aren't told this. You have to learn the, I learned the hard way. Everyone just told me I'm supposed to go to uni because that's what everyone else does. Go to the best uni you can, it doesn't matter how expensive, you'll deal with it later. When you're dirty and you're still paying off, you're dealing with it. But what is, why, why, why am I doing that? And I got lucky that the side hustle that I was doing worked out, you know, especially at a very convenient time for me because I wasn't even sure how long I was gonna keep doing it, man. It wasn't working. I was doing it for five, six, seven years at that point. No progress. Oh man, I should trip it up. So the main point I'm trying to say, fellas, is I know that everyone is telling you that the best thing for your life is to spend an abundant of money going to school post-secondary school, I'm telling you right now, you have to first figure out what the fuck you want to do with your life. And you do that by just trying new things. If you're already in high school or you're younger than that, you have plenty of time. Just try things. Try film. Try fashion. Just try things in any way that you can. And then you're going to figure out like, oh man, I really like this. It would be cool if I did this shit for a living. The second you think that, try it. Just try what it, what would it be like to do it for a living? And make that your side hustle while you go to school, man. And if university is the way to get, if you want to be a neurosurgeon, you're going to have to go to uni, bro, for, for a whole, you're going to have, your whole 20s is going to be spent in school. Facts, like, isn't it like 12 years or 13 years? I don't know. Ah, that's what you want to do. And that's but the that's best what you way to do. get there. Spend the money, man. You make it back. But yo, you're spending money on your art degree so that you can get your job working at goddamn Cineplex movie theaters for two years until you can get the real job that you wanted that isn't even paying well because everybody's applying and they know they could just drop the price. It's so crazy to me, and I do this too. Like, we could see the world make a mistake. And then we're up next. You know, it's our turn at the, at the fucking batting cage, right? We made the and same mistake. Go ahead and make the same mistake. As humans, we just watch people make mistakes and then feel very comfortable repeating their errors. Think about how many times this happened in your life. It's crazy. We gotta be fucking stupid. Real shit. We have to. Because there's no other reason why we can't just see a mistake from one per one, the first person to ever be $200,000 in debt at Harvard. We couldn't just Whoa. see that and go, that's a bad, bad decision right that's there. Let's try something else. The fact that we can continue to do, what I say about this, man? We're not gonna make it too long, I don't think. We, we can't even see an error and correct corpus. I don't want to stand no chance. That's it, really. Sometimes I just be hopping on these videos to be angry. <laughs> Y'all new to the channel, man, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we almost said 200K. Podcast is in the description. It's at like 58K right now. Let's try and get that to 60. Okay. The important stuff is done. Um, uh, yeah. I, I agree with everything he said. There's nothing he said. I don't agree. I, 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 there's nothing I can, I can't, I really don't have nothing to say. But, only thing I do have to say is, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, comment down below, turn on post notifications every time I upload, you know when I upload. And yeah, let's get these numbers up. Cheers! And we out.